Look at somebody and say, I am unstoppable. Whatever you thought you lost, whatever is taken from you, God will compensate you. All things work together for good to those who are called according to his what? Purpose. All things. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. They go to a club at, on Saturday night, appear on Sunday morning, get drunk in the night. On Sunday morning, they must be in church. They dress and come to church. Who they, who, you see, don't know him. Listen, I'm saying something serious. Everything that pertains to life and godliness has been given to us, provided, but you cannot assess it except you know him. They don't know the Lord. You go to their shop, they will cheat you even though they are in the same church with you. They use the language. You know, my sister, this is me and you. We are only for you to get to somewhere and discover what they sold to you for 5,000 is 4,200. Collected 800 with the language of a Christian. They sing Christian songs on Sunday morning. And they sing and dance worldly song inspired by the devil in their homes. Check their phone. That is the song they listen to. They say, I just, I just like, the, I just like the, the lyrics. I just like the way. The question is, the song, is it inspiring you to God or inspiring you to someone else? Because there are certain things that are hindering divine revelation. If you must see clearly, you need the light of the word of God. Can I hear somebody say, Amen? Please put the scriptures for me. Put the scriptures. No. First Peter. First Peter 1 verse 3. Second Peter, sorry. Second Peter 1 verse 3. According as his divine what? Power has given us. He is not going to give. He has given us all things. Somebody holler all things. all things. All things that pertain. So everything we are looking for, success, breakthrough, financial breakthrough, we are looking for wife, looking for children, all have been provided. Unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of him, through the knowledge. So until you have the knowledge, until you know him. They don't commit fornication, but they masturbate themselves. Christian women now buy vibrator to vibrate themselves to get sexual satisfaction. No, they do not. They are not Yahoo Yahoo, but they enjoy what Yahoo Yahoo people bring. Sit down. They do not know the Lord. 
They are born again, not converted. Conversion is a product of the quantity and the quality of the word of God on this side of you. Born again for five years, you've not completed the Bible, but you have read all manner of magazines and all manner of novels, but you have not completed New Testament. You are born again. You will appear in heaven one day and God will say to you, my book, the compass I gave to you. Can I know how many chapters you have read? Nothing. You cannot know him when the word is not in you. There is nothing you are looking for that is not provided. But your eyes of understanding is darkened because you don't have the word of God on the inside of you. Somebody said something recently, and I believe him very well because that is the truth. If the way we turn in and out of our telephone is the way we turn in and out of the word of God, we will be better believers. There are some of us this morning, if you have not looked at your telephone, you have looked at the telephone up to five times, ten times. But you didn't open the Bible. And the telephone is giving you wicked knowledge, false information. Am I a friend to anybody here this morning? Even if you don't like it, it is my duty to tell you the truth. To tell you what? The truth. You have a choice to like it or not. Lift up your right hand and say, Lord, open my inner eyes so that I can see Jesus Every hidden destiny helper be made visible in the name of Jesus. I've come to announce to somebody that the season of celebration has just started. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. This week, this week, a week of testimony unlimited testimony somebody shout and receive it look at Galatians chapter 2 verse 1 one to, five, one to two, Galatians. Then 14 years after, I went up again to Jerusalem with Barnabas and took Titus with me also. And I went up. I went up. Somebody say, I'm going up. Come on. Somebody say, I'm going up. I went up by what? Huh. Are you here with me? I went up by what? Revelation. After 14 years, Paul needed a change. It takes information to provoke knowledge. It takes information for you to assess knowledge. Until you grab information, you will not have knowledge. 
And when you get into knowledge, that is where you begin to see revelation. I once told you here, you see this flower and keep on looking at this flower. As far as you are concerned, it's flower. But there is a way you will have knowledge of this flower and you receive revelation out of this flower. And God begin to speak to you concerning this flower. How this flower is related to your life. The moment you have that revelation, you change your approach to this flower. Somebody say, I hear. He said, I went up by revelation and communicated unto them that gospel which I preached among the Gentiles, but privately to them which were of reputation. Why? I don't want to preach and run in vain. If you don't have divine insight into God's word, into who Jesus is, you are likely going to run the race and run in vain. What will make you run in vain? You will be on one spot for too many years. By the time you realize, express has gone. May it not happen to you in the name of Jesus. Divine revelation. He said, you know what? This time around, I went up by revelation. I preached to the crowd, but I changed my strategy. It takes divine revelation to change strategy. I changed my strategy because there are certain people that will not come to church. I need to go to their houses. He said, I went to men of repute and spoke to them privately so that I don't run in vain. Did you hear what I said? That was after 14 years. 14 good years. It took him 14 years to understand. What divine revelation does for you, it gives you divine strategies. He said, I preach to the crowd, but I devise the means. There are certain people, I need to talk to them, we did not see Joseph of Arimathea among the disciples, but he was a disciple. Did you hear that? Yes, sir. Did you see Zacchaeus there? But Zacchaeus was. There were certain people Jesus paid attention. Nicodemus, how did Nicodemus have access to Jesus? No, how did he have access to Jesus? Did you not read about certain women that were servicing Jesus? They were servicing his ministry with their substance, but they were not counted among the disciples. The moment you have a new insight, you will receive a new approach. What am I saying to you this morning? This insight helps you even in your private business. Lift up your right hand and say, Lord, I need light. I need light in my understanding to know what to do. In the name of Jesus. Freddy, listen. Oh my God, my God, my God. Look at this. I need to show you something. I need to show you something. Nakulu Subre Nakayus. Turn your Bible with me to Bozi Katurus Suru Pratada. In Genesis chapter 22, I want to read from verse 11. Genesis 22. And the angel of the Lord 
called unto Abram out of heaven and said, Abram, Abraham, Abraham. Hmm. And he said, Here yeah, am I. Gone. And he said, Lay not thy hand upon the lad. Neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God, seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thy only son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, please, please, please pay attention. Behind him, a ram caught in a ticket by his horn. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. Ladies and gentlemen, question number one. Where did Abraham pass? Did Abraham not tell Isaac, the Lord will provide himself, what? A ram. For a sacrifice. Did he not say so to Isaac? How come he saw the ram and passed the ram? Somebody said divine revelation. Until your eyes open, you can't see. What he will use for the sacrifice was already provided before his arrival. But he didn't see. Why? The instruction. Take Isaac, thy only son. Take him to the altar. Sacrifice him there. He was going. He did not ask question.